It is plant-based, inspired, healthy living, vlogging, workouts, holistic care-ish channel. Good morning, welcome to a Monday. This is the moment that Frankie realized his phone's at home. Hey. All right. <laughs> Love you. Rose. Are you supposed to be in there? Hey. Are you supposed to be in here? Here we go. Come on. I know. Come on. Go out of mommy's room. Get your blocks. Get your blocks. Oh. All right, so we don't live in like this super like glamorous neighborhood or anything, but we live in the woods kind of, and I just love looking out this window in the morning. Like the sun is coming through these trees. My windows are so dirty, but ignore that. But the sun's coming through these trees and we have all this greenery. Like, it's beautiful out here, honestly. There's the sun. Oh, also I had all intentions of getting up and doing a workout this morning, but um, my husband had me do, well not had me, I asked him to set me up a um, hit with some lifting workout yesterday. And I'm really sore and I just didn't want to get out of bed this morning. All right, so the workout was 45 seconds of mountain climbers, 30 second break, and then it was a minute of cleans and I used 65 pounds. Um, and then a 30 second break, and then 45 seconds of burpees with high knees. So like you do a burpee, but when you come into the jump, you do like a high knee tap. And then a 30 second break, and then a minute of deadlifts, and then a one minute break. And I did that circuit four times. And I was like winded, I was spent. And I think doing the weights with it, it's got me a little sore today. So we'll see what I end up doing today. I might end up just doing like some Pilates or something like that, we'll see. Or I might do nothing. Hey, you ready to eat? Where you wanna go? <laughs> Rosie, are you hungry? <laughs> okay, I'll make some drinks too.
not sure if anybody has had grits before, but if you just have plain grits, they're not the most appetizing thing in the world. So most of the time people smother them in butter. Well, not around here, folks. Not around here. So this is the stuff that I like to add. Obviously some Himalayan salt. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add a tiny bit of this ground turmeric and that's going to kind of give it like a yellowy color so it looks like those packets of the cheesy grits. Not a lot. I'm going to add in as well some nutritional yeast. This will kind of give it that, I don't know, cheese flavor. If you've never had nutritional yeast, you should at least try it. So yeah, this is going to be our not cheese, cheesy grits. And to go on top of their grits, I just have some, this is, was just a can of mixed vegetables. I think we opened it the other day for the babies. And then I have some of this um, cashew cream sauce. I'm just going to kind of heat that through a little bit because it was in the fridge and then I'm going to actually put this right on top of the big grits. And the pan looks gross because this is the pan that I actually cooked the grits in. No point in dirtying two dishes. So yeah, the babies, I didn't even heat theirs through because the grits are so hot. Um, so this is the babies and I'm just going to mix this in just to kind of cool down their grits. But this is a great um, savory breakfast idea for those who are eating plant-based but you're used to like having like eggs every morning or something like that. So get like a nice base of grits and then you can add in like some wilted greens on top. Um, you can really put whatever, um, you could do a tofu scramble on top of all of it. Um, but honestly, we're just doing this because I had the can of vegetables in the fridge already. And yeah, so I'm all about like convenience and using up whatever I have in the fridge. This is what the kids are going to have for breakfast along with their strawberries and their toast. leftovers from breakfast that's my breakfast and I'm also adding um, some flax seeds so that I can have some good like omega-3s the kids are gonna they have smoothies like every day and so I put a bunch of flax seeds for them um, when you're eating plant-based it's very important like to be I mean it's really important to be balanced in everything you eat in every kind of way you eat <clears throat> but when you're eating plant-based you want to make sure you have a source of um, b12 as well as your omega-3s um, and you want to have good fat sources as well because those are like the three things that are harder to find in fruits and vegetables so you want to kind of make sure you're adding that to stuff um, so I put this in the kids smoothies they have a smoothie every day um, so that's where they get theirs but I try I don't drink smoothies all the time unless it's like as a meal replacement um, so yeah, I'm just gonna add some right to my stuff. It doesn't really even have a taste and it has like a little bit of a grittiness to it, but I personally like it. Like it literally doesn't have a taste or smell. So anyway, this is what mine now looks like. And of course I'm probably gonna end up putting some hot sauce, but yeah, that's my breakfast. Why are you wearing that to the store? Huh?
I was the guy that changed clothes. I know. Yep, that's my sister right there. <laughs> Definitely my sister. I know. No love. I Anyways, know. guys, we're going to the grocery store to get color pencil. I well, this is going great. This one already got into the cement. You live a really like organic life. Hold on, I'm trying to set this camera up. It's not funny. It is not funny. Anyway, we live like this really organic life. We try to be super healthy, and then your kid eats cement. Hmm. Really great. Also, I don't know about any of y'all's kids, um, but my kids are usually best and most well behaved after breakfast in the morning before I lay them down around two for naps. So something that I've adapted to through the years is I finish breakfast and before I even clean the kitchen for breakfast, I start in preparation for something for lunch, dinner, I'm sorry. Whether it's just meal prepping something or actually creating dinner. So I'm about to start that now. Steven, hey, do you have chili powder? Do you know what chili powder is? <laughs> I'm like in the middle of making something and I thought I had chili powder and I don't have any. Ah, okay, thanks, bye. So the plan was to make red enchilada sauce, but my red enchilada sauce, the recipe that I normally use, calls for chili powder and I don't have any and I don't have chilies like the dried chilies I'm out of those like I have I'm about to try to make this with just paprika and it's gonna taste so gross anyway I'm gonna make it anyway because I don't feel like having to cook dinner tonight like a full on dinner and I'm making bean and I don't have black beans so it's gonna be pinto bean and maybe kidney bean enchiladas with red enchilada sauce that has no chili powder. Once I have all of my mise en place, which is pretty much just your preparation done, I'm going to go ahead and start on the sauce. And the first thing I like to do is just saute up some onions and add a little bit of flour. And we're going to let this kind of just get brown. This is going to be our base for the sauce. You definitely want to make sure there's some good caramelization here. If you don't cook the flour out long enough, you'll definitely taste flour, so you don't want that. And once you have a nice brown color to your base, then you're just going to go ahead and add in all of your dry seasonings maybe not leave your heat high at this point just kind of turn it down and let those spices um, just kind of bloom once they've been in a jar for a while they kind of can just get a little I guess stale tasting so you want to kind of like just let them come back to life in the meantime I'm gonna going to make just some you can use water in this recipe honestly I just like extra flavor so I am making just a veggie broth real quick. I use this concentrated uh, veggie base. The brand is better than Bouillon. And I just add um, a teaspoon to a cup and that will be something that I use to kind of just thin out the sauce a little bit at the end. Now that my spices have toasted up good, I will add in um, a can of tomato sauce. Um, this was diced tomatoes that I put in the blender because I was out of tomato sauce. So you just add in your tomato sauce and then you will add in the rest of your veggie broth and then the let it simmer just for a few minutes, kind of let all the flavors come together. And that is your enchilada sauce and you are done. Now to get started on the filling.
What? Wow. This is what we do for fun. Wow! Wow! What did it do? It made it soft. My quick lunch. I have to portion out my corn chips because I will just devour them. Anyway, um, this is the enchilada sauce. So I just put a little bit of that on there. And then this is a cashew cream sauce. So I put that as well. And then I just took a little bit of oats, mixed it with some almond milk, some blueberries, some flax seed, and a little bit of vanilla protein powder. And this is, these two will be my lunch. It's quick easy i have like salty and then like sweet and this will be a great pre-workout too because i think i'm gonna get in a workout this evening so there you go that is lunch <laughs> that's what hangry looks like <laughs> hashtag hangry about to be plug in for my um inst or for my cooking class if you know anybody that is interested in going plant-based or maybe they just don't know how to cook vegetables and they want to be able to incorporate any more vegetables into their diet but they just don't know how to do it please tag them or you can tag them in my post on instagram the picture of the tacos or on facebook i have an event for the next cooking class it like grew so big and so fast. It was like only two days. <laughs> We're taking the compost out together. You know how you usually like used to grab the compost and like just throw yes. it out? Yes. That's what I like to do. That's how you're supposed oh to do God, it. Oh my God, look at this plant that's growing. Look at all the flowers the girls planted. No, look at this. They planted all of these. How long ago, Lala? A week and a half? No, it's been like maybe two weeks ago. looks like I know this is Italian don't judge me for my combos here but I just had zucchini squash and onion with um, some tomatoes that I put on top and so there's fresh garlic in here a little bit of olive oil seasoned salt and Italian seasoning and I got the grill it was at like 500 I have all of these burners under this on and then I have the burner under this off. This is the enchiladas. And I actually covered them because they're kind of dry. So they're going to be feeding through over here. And also me and Frankie like spicy stuff. So I threw on two fresh jalapenos. And those will char up nicely. And that will be dinner. And yeah, so my house is not getting hot or full of all kinds of garlicky smells. And I can be outside working out and just kind of periodically check on dinner. I love grilling.
We hope that you can watch this and get inspired to inspired to make a inspired meatless, dairy-free meal. Dairy meal. <laughs> and welcome to the party flash. Remember that if you want the recipe for the enchilada sauce, you gotta comment below and let me know that you want it. And I will message it to you directly. And it's probably gonna be a picture of my actual recipe card. And I'll scratch off where I messed up or where we changed it and revamped it. So, I would love if you guys could subscribe to our video and have a lot of fun, guys. Bye! Bye.